Hi, I'm Pat Larson, the CEO of Zenledger, and I'm going to talk to you today about tax loss harvesting. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a tax professional or a legal professional, and this is not tax or legal advice. Please consult your own advisor. Capital gains and capital losses, what are they? The IRS will tax you on your long-term or short-term capital gains, whether you hold it for less than a year, that's short-term capital gains, if you hold it for longer than a year, that's long-term capital gains. The other thing the IRS will do is they will give you a credit for the losses you have. Um, the time you hold the losses for it doesn't matter. You can hold them for a day or for 10 years. You could be selling um, Ethereum you bought at the peak in December of 2018. You could be sell it today and uh, have a loss. Uh, Congress and the IRS have not given a lot of guidance here. So again, consult your own tax professional, but I'm gonna give you the best advice that uh, we have today, um, and it's mostly conservative advice. Uh, with gains, uh, again, no long, uh, there are long and short-term considerations, but for losses, there are not. Realize losses. To harvest a tax loss asset, you have to sell your crypto for a loss before December 31st, 2020. And then it'll apply for the uh, the taxes that you file in 2021 for the 2020 tax year. You can buy or sell on an exchange or P2P from your wallets, doesn't matter. You just have to have a transaction. And you can use these losses to offset gains in other asset classes or in your income tax. Up to $3,000 of income tax can be offset. So say you have uh, $5,000 of losses that you realize by December 31st in your crypto trades and you can file to reduce your income tax in 2020 by $3,000. You'll have $2,000 of leftover tax loss uh, asset that you can put towards your gains in the stock market or in cryptocurrency or uh, real estate, selling baseball cards, uh, whatever you want. There is no law that says that crypto applies to the wash rule. The wash rule is specifically for publicly traded securities like on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, and there have been no laws from Congress uh, and no rulings from the SEC that says that crypto is a security and uh, applies to the wash rule, the, uh, especially that like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, there may be some cryptocurrencies that have been specifically labeled as security or the sale of unlicensed uh, securities. Um, so again, not legal advice. There is uh, two accounting methods that are mainly used. First in, first out, which is FIFO, and last in, first out, which is LIFO. The vast majority of accountants we talk to recommend using first in, first out, FIFO. That's the more conservative approach. That's the approach that um, the IRS has mentioned. There is also uh, highest in, first out, HIFO, and uh, last in, first out, LIFO. You can use those. Uh, they may be more aggressive, and you may have to uh, you know, end up defending that uh, when you um, talk to the IRS or your accountant, but just something to know. In 2020, trading has been mostly up, especially since March. But there have been some dips, obviously the, um, the big dip in March, and there have been some other pullbacks. And then we don't know what the rest of December holds. So in the next three weeks, uh, we could you know, go up a lot, stay flat, or go down. What you want to do is you want uh, to make the trades before December 31st, the 2020 calendar year, so that they'll apply to your gains in 2020. And that's, that's the big thing. So this is just a reminder that anytime you need to get a hold of us, you can just click on this icon down here, which is the chat. You can always minimize it by clicking on it again. But anytime you need us, evenings, weekends, uh, just come right in here. So to get your tax loss harvesting, uh, sometimes you'll need to come into wallets and run next step uh, to create new calculations uh, so that you have the most current prices as of you know today. And then you'll come into view reports. You'll come down here, do tax loss harvesting and you'll click it and you'll get your uh, Google Sheet and you'll have a timestamp that'll tell you that the prices are current. So the way you read this is that you come in here and so you can do this December 9th, you can do this December 31st, uh, but you have to do it before December 31st, midnight, December 2020. So that's, that's when you have to sell by, but you could sell today. So there's two things you can do here. You can, um, you can sell a coin today and buy it back in a couple days or a week or January 1st, anytime after January 1st. You could buy it March 2021, doesn't matter. But what one thing you're doing is you could sell it today. 
and then buy it back sometime later. You are taking a little bit of risk with the uh, fluctuation in the taxes, uh, in the in the prices of of the coin. So, uh, say you know Bitcoin today trading eighteen thousand. You want to free up some cash by selling some Bitcoin today. Uh, you are taking a chance that by the next time you buy it back in, it might have gone up, and then uh, you would have missed uh, the profits there. However, if it goes down, then you would have saved yourself some of the losses. The other thing you can do is you can sell five minutes before midnight, December 31st, and all you're trying to do is buy back in you know, a minute after midnight, January 1st, 2021, and all you're trying to do there is to say, look, I still love Ravencoin. I still want to hold, you know, 1.6 million uh, Raven tokens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell right before midnight, December 31st. I'm going to buy back the exact same amount January 1st. Then I'll have my $15,000 tax loss and I'll have the 1.6 million Raven coins that I think are going to go up. There's just a hard uh, deadline at the December 31st. That's how tax loss harvesting works. If you want to sell all your Raven coin today, uh, December 9th, December 15th, December 20th, and then you know wait a week and a half or or longer, you can do that. Or if you want to you know sell your Raven right now because of 15,000, you didn't realize it was such a big loss. And you're like, oh wow, I have that tax loss asset, and I can free up some cash. I can free up 21,000 in cash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell all my Raven and then I'm going to buy into uh, Stellar. I think Stellar is going to go up faster than Raven uh, in the next two weeks or month or whatever. I want to shift things around. So I want to free up cash by selling my, my losses, my tokens that are currently selling at a loss, and then put them into other coins. You can do that too. And the good way to do that is just to rank and stack all the coins that are selling at losses. You can you know, sell all of them and pile into what you think are going to be winners, or you can sell all of them December 31st and buy all of them back in January 1st if you want to. That's kind of you know, decisions you need to make. Consult your you know, accountant, any uh, investment advisors you have. But that's what tax loss harvesting is. You identify the coins that are trading at a loss, and you sell them to free up cash, or you sell them to uh, get a tax loss asset and buy back into a different asset uh, later on. So how you read this is you come in here, you look at your summary. We're going to use the FIFO accounting method. Uh, summary FIFO, you go, okay, uh, what is trading at a loss? I got a bunch of stuff trading at a loss. I'm just going to I'm just gonna go to the exchange I know I hold these at and go ahead and sell them. Easiest thing to do. If it's a little more nuanced, say um, you, know, you hold... 48,000 Aeon. Only 6,000 of it's trading at a loss. So what you would do is you know that you can sell 6,200 Aeon at a loss, but if you sell 7,000, you start to get into your gains. If you sell all you know, 54,000 that you own, you'll, you'll end up with uh, you know, not as good a trade as you wanted to. So we'll take a look at that here come up here and see what Aeon's doing. Okay, here we go. So you can kind of see that there's there's some Aeon that you can trade uh, and get into your gains. So you want to avoid that. You only want to sell the amount that is, uh, that is losses. And so that is uh, the 6200. If you sell more than 6,200, you'll start to get into your gains, and that's not what you want to do. The point right now with tax loss harvesting is to sell things at a loss. So you don't really want to be selling into your gains unless you really want to free up the cash. If you're like, oh, I didn't realize Aeon was trading at such a loss. I want to free up all my Aeon because uh, I want to put it into some other coin. But what we're telling you is don't sell all of it. Sell just the portion that's at a loss, and you can see exactly how many tokens at the current price right now you can sell for a loss, and that's how you you use it. If you wanted to do it with a different accounting method, you come over here. You can you know compare the different accounting methods and see which one you want. But the important thing to know is that you have to stay consistent in your accounting methods. So if three years ago was the first time you filed taxes in crypto and you picked FIFO, you should stick with FIFO every year thereafter unless there is. You know, a really good reason for you not to, and then you should kind of be prepared uh, with accountant's advice on why you're switching accounting method and being able to explain it well. 
You can't just willy-nilly switch between FIFO, LIFO, HIFO each year that you want to. And so uh, I hope this helped. Um, it's a little complicated, but once you have these you know, summary outputs, pretty easy to see what you need to do. Then you just need to go to the exchange or wallet that you're holding the coins on and uh, go ahead and sell them. You can sell them out to USD or to stablecoin or to Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, or just trade it for uh, a new coin. You can you can do taxless harvesting by just you know trading CND with with Raven back and forth. You don't have to go through uh, dollars to to get your tax loss asset. You just need to transact. Uh, you just need to sell uh, the coin that's trading at a loss. So hope that helped. Again, anytime you can find us at hello at zenledger.io or come uh, find us in the chat. Happy to help you. Uh, congratulations on on a great year of trades and uh, hope hope all your assets keep going up. Thanks.